Danger Dolan. From people that can't stop dancing to one of the most feared diseases of the century, we count 14 diseases that science can't explain. Number 14. The Dancing Plague of 1518 is the most prominent outbreak of dancing mania in history, where 400 people began to dance in Strasbourg in July and didn't stop dancing for a long time. Some of the people afflicted danced for a period of about a month. Many of those that danced suffered from heart attacks, stroke, and all had some level of exhaustion. To this day, scientists still don't know what caused dancing mania. It's assumed to be a social phenomenon of a psychological origin, but for all we know, it's a type of brain-altering virus or something. Number 13. Exploding Head Syndrome. It's not nearly as exciting as it sounds, but it's still interesting and the cause is still largely unknown. Exploding head syndrome is a type of auditory hallucination where those afflicted with it hear loud, non-existent noises, or an explosive feeling when they're about to fall asleep or as they're waking up. It's worth noting that this isn't the same thing as that falling feeling you sometimes get when you're going to sleep, but it's possibly related. Number 12. Jumping Frenchman of Maine Syndrome. Another poorly named disorder, but an interesting one nonetheless. The jumping Frenchman of Maine showed extremely exaggerated startle reflexes to the point where it was restricting their ability to live a normal life. The men that suffered from this disability the worst would obey any command if it was given suddenly enough, even if it meant striking someone they loved. The cause for this disorder is still unknown, but it's theorized that it could be a genetic condition. There are other theories that it's a behavioral disorder caused by a formed habit of positive reinforcement. Number 11. Bleeding Calf Syndrome. This disease causes calves of 21 days or younger to bleed excessively, although the worst of the bleeding is internal and this is generally what causes the calves to die. While vets have figured out what causes the bleeding, a lack of a vital aspect in the blood called platelets, this can happen in other animals, but there's still a lot they don't understand. For instance, they don't know why the calves are lacking in platelets. They also don't know if the disease is even infectious, or if there's any risk of it transferring to humans via mutation. Number 10. Water Allergy While this disease isn't actually an allergy, as it isn't related to histamines, it's still a negative reaction that some people have when they come into contact with water. Usually, the symptoms involve hives when exposed to water on their skin, although in some extreme cases, people even get swelling in their oral region when attempting to drink water. But this isn't a reaction that is caused by impurities like chlorine like you might suspect, as the scientists have conducted trials with distilled water and medical saline. There's no known cause for this type of rash and treatment is very difficult. Number 9. Sweating Sickness This was a disease that started in England in 1485 and it spread quickly throughout Britain and eventually spread to mainland Europe. The symptoms were a high amount of sweat, cold shivers, giddiness, and a headache. Once the symptoms showed up, it usually only took a couple of hours before the patient would die. Most people think that it was caused by poor sanitation, but it's still largely unknown exactly what about this caused the sickness and why it hasn't appeared again in poorly sanitized areas in the modern era. Number 8. Brainerd Diarrhea This disease comes suddenly and, once the symptoms arise, they don't go away for months or sometimes even years. The diarrhea is described as watery and explosive and it's not treatable with antibiotics. There have been 10 reports of the disease since 1983, and 9 of them were in the United States. It's generally thought to be caused by consuming raw milk and untreated water, but while this is mostly accepted amongst the medical industry, it's mostly unproven and could just be an irrelevant correlation. Number 7. Stiff Person Syndrome SPS is a rare disorder of a neurological nature. The stiffness mainly affects the torso, and also includes spasms that cause deformed postures, such as being hunched over in a pained fashion. It only occurs in around one in a million people, and generally happens when the sufferer is in their middle ages. It was first found in 1956, and treatment targets the stiffness symptoms. No cure or fully functional treatment is known as of yet, and the cause of the disease is still unknown. Although, it is known that there's a large amount of glutamic acid in most, but not all, patients. Number 6. Sleepy Sickness Also known as encephalitis lethargica, this disease targets the brain, making those that have it feel sleepy and eventually become locked into an unmoving state, where they can't speak or move any part of their body voluntarily. The starting symptoms are high fever, a sore throat, headaches, tiredness, double vision, lowered mental acuity, tremors, and some patients even experience psychosis, which involves having hallucinations and a paranoid state of mind. It's thought that the disease might be linked to previously having diseases that target your throat, like strep throat, thus lowering your immune system and damaging part of your brain known as the basal ganglia, although the studies behind this were not conclusive. 
Number five. Nodding disease. This one showed up in Sudan in the 1960s and only affects children between the ages of 5 and 15. Once affected, the children will have stunted growth in both the body and the brain, leaving them mentally handicapped. Nodding disease hasn't been properly studied, so starting symptoms are only known via hearsay. But the most prominent symptom that most agree on is the nodding seizures that all that contract the disease experience. There's no known cure or cause for this disease, but it has been noted that every case has occurred near where a parasitic worm called Onchocerca volvulus thrives. Number four. Vampire disease. Also known as hereditary porphyria, it is a disease where the skin becomes white thanks to anemia and becomes incredibly sensitive to light. Also, hair tends to grow faster and thicker than usual. Sores on the skin can develop and will eventually distort and destroy the nose and fingers. Garlic also contains a chemical that exacerbates the symptoms of this disease. While it's known that the disease is passed on via genetics, not much else is known about it. There are a few drugs that treat it by interacting with the liver, but it's not reliable and many different drugs need to be tried out on each individual patient. Number three. Ebola and Lujo. Both of these diseases are hemorrhagic fevers, which is the medical way of saying that your organs bleed until they're nothing but liquid and you cry blood. Until recently, it was almost impossible to study either of these diseases because they killed so quickly and efficiently. Although it is known that this is a characteristic of diseases not native to humans as killing the host too quickly, or at all, isn't beneficial for the disease. Lately, it's been thought that Ebola comes from bats, although this still hasn't been proven, and Lujo still remains completely unknown as to its origins. Number two. Prions. You might be more familiar with the term mad cow disease, which is a type of prion. Basically, all that a prion is, is a protein that flips from left-handed to right-handed. That's it. There's no known way to treat prions, nor prevent them as cooking doesn't kill them. Not only that, but it's also incurable and could take years to show any symptoms. It's not known how these occur, but it is known that you'll get them if you eat the wrong things. For cows, it's cow meat, and for humans, it's human brains. But they also occasionally naturally occur in the human body, and we don't know why. Number one. SIDS is short for Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, and is a disease that comes completely out of nowhere and kills a child. SIDS is responsible for over 80% of sudden infant deaths, and we don't understand it whatsoever. That doesn't stop us from researching it, though. The Red Nose Foundation is the charity behind most of the funding towards researching its causes, but so far we've never knowingly prevented it or diagnosed it before the infant dies. Even if an autopsy is performed after the infant dies, nothing can be found out of the ordinary. This is the most unknown and deadly disease that plagues humans that we know of. That's it for this countdown. And have a go!